Hi and welcome back to another video. This is a video about the XH Data D328 FM AM shortwave 12 band radio receiver with MP3 player, DSP digital signal processing, USB TF which is SD card, headphones, radio, 3.7 volt lithium battery, BL dash. 5C and it's MP3 player. It says that twice on there. As you look at the box, MP3 player and it says all the stuff on there that I just read out before. There's your side TF card. If you ever see TF card, that's micro SD. It's the best way to explain that. Okay, this machine adopts the modern software radio technology and selects the new digital display dis digital signal processing so it's got all these chips and stuff in it you can read read all that pause to read it fm am shortwave 12 band dsp radio with mp3 music playback 3.7 volt b l dash c5 rechargeable battery DC 5 volt input charger, earphone jack 3.5 millimeters, TF card slot, and 360 degree antenna. I've had antennas that just go straight up and you can't turn them or, or they make it like a crack sort of noise. Yeah, it's not good. I've had XH data ones that have done that. So, but that's you look around the box. Now let's get this puppy open. There's a little bit of a story before I show it. This took a lot to get. I ordered this when it first showed up on xhdata.cn, the Chinese um, website. I always go on there to get it directly from the manufacturer, the xhdata stuff. They're usually pretty good, fast delivery, all that. Okay, so it got to Australia really fast with the tracking. That's great. Then it got from Sydney to Brisbane very fast. Then it said it was on its way to Cairns. Now, I'm an hour away from Cairns in far north Queensland. So if you look on a map, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, um, nothing happened. It just stayed like that for about a week. Didn't say it got to Townsville or Cairns or anywhere like that. But then I got a thing saying there was an issue in Gladstone. So I contacted the shipping company, Australia Post, and they said that there was an accident with their um, with their vehicle. Well, okay. So I and they said to contact the seller. So I contacted the seller. The seller got back to me and said they had a fire in their truck. The truck had had an accident and it caught on fire. So therefore, my radio was damaged. Now, this was over the space of about a month and a half to find out all this information because I asked Australia Post and all this at different times and everything for details. And But eventually, XH Data was like, Okay, do you want a refund, or do you want us to send you another radio? I said, oh, you can send me another radio. This is all through emails and things like that, back and forth. And they sent it out, express post. It came from down in New South Wales, because they do have a, um, a warehouse in Australia, so they got it sent from there. And it came in about two days. So it was really fast. I was impressed. So this is the radio after all that. Now, this is a $20 Australian radio, around $20. Comes in this handy dandy bubble wrap. I don't expect too much for the price. There's your little instruction manual, which will be quite basic, of course. There's never too much involved in these sort of radios, so let's have a, you can have a quick look at that. You can pause to read it. I'll zoom in and editing so you can have a bit of a look and all that. And that, that's it. In English, what else have we got in there? other languages than that, but there's some of the English. Okay. Charging the battery, MP3 playback, radio functions, features, all that stuff. Okay, pause to read. And there you go, so don't need to look at any more of that. The USB cable is micro USB, or is that mini USB? It's not USB-C, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I've got other radios with that, so it's fine. They're always good to keep these sort of cables around because you never know. 
you got a little wrist strap, standard wrist strap, and here's, let's get this radio finally open after all the effort to get it. Oh, it comes in this little little sleeve thing. It'd be nice if it had a little little bag you could keep it in all the time, little pouch thing, but that's fine. Okay, let's get this open. It looks like a baby version of the other radio I've got right here, actually. Let's get the other radio that I just mentioned and compare. This is the XH Data D368. Look at that. just looks like the little baby of it. Oh, that's cool. Just doesn't have that screen there. And this is more glossy. This is more matte. This will be more prone to fingerprints, I would say. Same sort of display. It'd be nice if there was a little light in there. Like there should be on this one. If they bought out this one again, I would say put a little light in there so it shines or up there so it shines over there for night time. Okay, I'll put them this way. Okay. Alright, let's move this one to the side again. So here we go. The XH Data 328. There's your, your dial for the very... But you got you got to keep in mind the price of this too. Twenty dollars Australian is cheap, so if it works good, well, that's great. MP3 it says there, radio, FM, AM, or FM one and two, AM, and then shortwave one two nine. There's your dial. We can see what you're up to. There's your FM one and two at the top there. At the top, what do we got on here? Which way they got the writing on here? Tight. Hard for me to see the angle I'm looking at. Hopefully the camera will focus. There's a charge. I don't like the um, power cable being up here, like the charge cable port. I'd rather them be on the side. Then when you have it sitting somewhere, it sort of pulls on it. When you got it like down here, it doesn't. Uh, there's your toggle switch for radio, MP3 and off. There's your SD card slot. Didn't come with an SD card. There's your fast forward, play, rewind. Channel up and down, which will be your station. There's your tuning dial and your volume and your headphone jack. Excellent. There's your little kickstand they have for them. Put that out. Go like that. And it sets it up properly, which I like. Uh, it could break if you put too much pressure on it, but other than that, it's good. Okay, so it's got your frequency ranges for this particular radio. Let's get this up here where we can see it better. It's got FM 64 to 108 megahertz. The MW or AM medium wave 520 to 1,620 kilohertz. The short wave is 4,750 to 2,000. Oh, it's hard for me to read. I haven't got my glasses on, but you can read it there. And it's got the stuff for the um, voltages and all that, which I've mentioned earlier. There's your antenna. Let's see how far it goes out. Yeah. Well, that's a fair distance, actually. That's not bad. It's actually impressive. Okay. Now let's have a look. In the battery compartment, sometimes these are hard to open, but that's not. It's just your Nokia style battery from years ago. The old Nokia's where you could take the battery out from the olden days. That's your standard. You can buy these. Well, if you're in Australia, well, you can buy these quite easily from um, JCar for like $9. I bought a few of them. You can buy them on eBay and all that. Yeah, the BC, uh, the BL-C5. This is a 3.8 watt hour version. Okay, let's get this back in. Having this on the front. So you want to line these these things up with here. So you've got to have this part where it shows that facing down. So there you go. One sec. Okay, let's get this battery compartment on. Don't know what that's all about, that little smiley face thing. Sometimes you can put a little thing in there for another kickstand with those sort of radios. Okay, let's turn this on. See if it's got any battery in it. 
Yep. We should. Because we're close to the computer, we may have a bit of issue with interference. It's 360. Let's get this around. Let's get this kickstand out. I'm trying not to be rough with it. I don't believe in being rough with things. Yeah, there's no little light there. There's a light there showing that, indicating that it's radio. Turn the volume down for now. Let's get it to FM. FM will likely pick up a few stations. Doesn't really show it on camera properly. I have it like that. Okay. May not pick up much on FM1. Further down the dial, we will. In 26, and there's still we've got an unemployment at three and a half, and probably edging it's not down bad for towards the, three. But the computer over interference. The next two or three months. I think that him is having some ethical. Is unhelpful for the opposition. That's Professor Paul Strangio from Monash University. Samantha the radio Dorman vibrates. While homeowners are that. facing bigger mortgage repayments, the cost of renting a home. Can't play too much music because of to copyright. Their very own viable business. Um, later. Okay. In 30 years. So, and that was five and, a, uh, five and a bit percent, but you've got to take in. Woman Emma Caspers knows how hard and expensive. Quite happy with the sound quality of that. Okay, we're on FM2. Most likely not to pick up anything on shortwave. Inside. Nothing on FM1, which I expected. Okay. That's AM. AM or MW. It says AM on the radio, but it said MW on the box. Because AM's got the built in ferrite antenna for AM. Okay, we're on the shortwave one. We might pick up Radio New Zealand. Sometimes I do inside, even here. Another radio. I'll get some good photos of this when it's sunny outside like I normally do. You see my other radio videos. The antenna seems quite good quality actually. Like the build quality. For the price. This is no reflection on the radio, this is just because of where it is. Interference, if you know anything about shortwave, yeah, interference is a big thing. But I will get some outside at some stage. Another radio, so I usually pick up Radio New Zealand on five or six. But we'll see. And these types of radios. So far, I'm impressed. I just wish we had recording. Radio China in English would be good to pick up on here. In regards to doing it during the video. 
be very cool. Okay, we're on seven now. This is currently seven o'clock at night. Seven PM. Australian Eastern Standard Time, not daylight savings. So let's go to eight. Has anyone else got the XH Data D 901 and find that the battery doesn't hold its charge? If you don't use it for a while and can be fully charged when you leave it, that it, it loses its charge. I do find that with the proper XH Data battery that come with it. Anyway, that's all of that. Can't pick up anything inside, that's to be expected. Just the FM and AM or MW. That's completely fine. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this so far. Uh, I would recommend it for the price. Like for when there's power outages or whatever, pick yourself up one of these, pick up a few of those batteries. Try and, if you buy them from JCar within Australia, they're the proper um, Nokia batteries from years ago. They actually have um, the they have the proper Nokia hologram thing on it where you can go like that and see it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So I bought a few online from them and I was quite impressed. So there you go. But yeah, this is good little radio just do a quick little look around it again so you can just have a bit more of a look probably zoom in and editing so you can read all this information yep heaps of fingerprints as expected but that's fine for the price you know if you're having it as a display piece because you just wipe it down with a microfiber cloth or something all good anyway thanks for watching this is bestest times reminding you to enjoy your tech.